Hey guys, Shoutout here, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch event that will be coming up actually tonight at 10 p.m. Uh, Central Standard, so that is um, that will be 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 11 p.m. on Eastern Time. Now, there's some interesting things going on with the Switch. It, it's kind of different when you think about it for Nintendo what they're trying to do. So we're going to talk about what it is exactly that the Switch is going to be, what it is, and just, just a little start to... Well, start, start to what could be something very unique. So anyways, we know that it is called the Switch. Is going to be called the Nintendo Switch. That is... Right now, most of what we know. We also know what it looks like. And it looks really cool. Uh, there will be a picture up on the screen right now. I'll show you a picture of what it's going to look like. And... I think it actually looks really cool. It goes away from Nintendo's kind of... Standard that they've been doing lately. And kind of going mainstream kind of look in my opinion but anyways there's a couple things that we know about it already going into the event one is that it will be using an Nvidia arm processor it's kind of a if I understand correctly it's a arm processor that does CPU and GPU so that could be interesting to see. We'll have to see more about the specs, but that's all that we know right now is that it will be powered by NVIDIA. So it's going to be very much like the NVIDIA Shield, only better it, because it's supposed to be on the new NVIDIA platform, uh, NVIDIA ARM processor platform, which we'll have to see once all the specs come out. So that, that's going to be really cool to see that and how NVIDIA and Nintendo are going to be working together. Another thing that we do know is that it does ha support two-player and multi-console connect because we all know that two consoles connect connect together and with that you can also use the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons are the two controllers that are on the side, each side of the screen. You can take those off and play one player together on a pro controller or you can take them off, hand it one to your friend and then there you go, you've got multiplayer. I love the idea of that that just kind of oh there we seamlessly have multiplayer co-op and by the looks of it in their trailer they show an nba game being played and there's four of them playing so that kind of shows that those can connect hopefully that they do it well and how they connect and they'll connect pretty seamlessly and easily enough that it will just be easy to do and I mean, I'm actually really looking forward to that. That would be really cool. I'm very much looking forward to this new console as long as they do what the trailer kind of promised. Now we also know that there is a Legend of Zelda game coming out and that's kind of been confirmed by Nintendo and other leaks that there will be an, another Legend of Zelda game. There was also a leak of a new 3D Mario game. That one's looking really like in the trailer it looked really cool so kind of can't wait to see what that one brings us to because this is all going to be new tomorrow uh, another thing is to see how many more partners they've got since their last graphic i will put a picture of the graphic that shows nintendo partners that they say that have already partnered with them uh you guys will be able to see that now who's all there and like i said i'm looking forward to see if they've got any new and any more confirmed games because Basically all we have is Legend of Zelda and Mario. There's a lot in the trailer, but both Bethesda and any sports title, man, anybody who makes a sports title has already said, we haven't confirmed anything. Those aren't really conf confirmations, them being in a trailer or anything. So we'll have to wait to see what is confirmed and what isn't. But anyways, another thing about the Nintendo is, or about the Switch, is I want to know how well it does because what you can do is you can take the tab basically it's a tablet with two controllers that's what I'm basically taking it as but then what you can do 
is you can put it on a base and stream it to your TV. I'm waiting to see... They've said that the base doesn't add any GPU power. Or any processing power or anything like that. Like, there is no power except for an HDMI plug-in and an actual power base to charge your tap the the tablet type thing that you can take with you. That's all that's going to have is just the char charging and HDMI plug-in. I kind of hope that it includes another net port. I doubt it will, but we'll have to see once it's actually released what that'll do. And what I'm looking forward to seeing is if it's going to be better quality up on your screen than it is on the tablet type thing. Because if it's going to be the same quality, what well, is there much of a point? Like, we'll have to see. It's it's going to be interesting to see what all happens and how it goes. Uh, one other thing that I'm interested in is if it's going to be an NVIDIA architecture, like they've been saying it's going to be, what are they going to be like to program games for? Like, is it going to be the same as, like, an Android phone? Or is it going to be, like, the Xbox One or the PS4? Or is it going to be, like, programming a game for a PC? That is also something to watch out for, is if they release that, or if developers are going to have to wait to find out or anything. So, there's a lot of things. I love it because it looks like you're going to be able to take AAA titles with you on the go. It's not going to be a dumbed-down version. It's going to, not going to be a lesser version. The graphics are going to be the same at home as when you take it on the road, at least we hope. Um, another thing to watch out for is if the tablet part type thingy is going to be touch. Because there hasn't really been any mention of that. There's been speculation and all that kind of stuff, but there hasn't been an actual word of, yes, it's touch, no, it's not touch. So, another thing to look out for is if it's going to be touch or not. So, the Switch, in my idea, is going to be a family, is going to be a definitely family oriented thing. It's, it's going to be meant to play with your family. Like Nintendo's always done. The games that are going to come out for it by Nintendo and all that are going to be family fun. What I'm waiting to see is how many AAA titles create family fun games on it and how many stick to their what they're doing. Like I'm, I mean, some AAA titles make family fun adventures, but are we going to see Nintendo become the family fun console that also has now AAA titles on it? I'm really looking forward to what the Switch is going to bring and what Nintendo is going to do with it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works in the ecosystem with all the rest. Is it going to... Well, it's not going to complete with Xbox Scorpio, probably not even the Xbox One S or PS4 Pro. They, And that's what Nintendo actually said, is that it's going to compete with Xbox One and PS4. I remember when they said that, there was no PS4 Pro or Xbox One S. So I'm expecting kind of, well, a couple years, unfortunately, a couple years ago type thing from them. But it's a big step for Nintendo, going from their own, own ways and kind of stepping into the more mainstream so that more AAA developers can actually... Uh, make games for their system. So, anyways, guys, that has been kind of my lead up to the Switch. What we know is that it's called the Switch. It's got two controllers bundled with it. Those are going to be the Joy Cons. They go on each side of the screen tablet thing. It's going to have a base that you can plug into your TV through HDMI. It is going to feature a new Zelda game, a new Mario game. Um, we don't. There is going to be a Pro Controller, as they call it, for it. Call it. But what we don't know yet is whether or not it's going to be bundled with 
or if you're going to have to pay extra for the Pro Controller. So that will be something else to watch for, was that Pro Controller and how they announced that and all that. But anyways, another thing that we do know is that it is going to be made, the processing chip inside of it is going to be an NVIDIA chip, which is pretty big because they went away from doing their own thing and went with NVIDIA. And uh, it'll be the first console that uses NVIDIA instead of AMD. All the other systems have AMD graphics and CPUs in them, so this will be the first one to actually use AMD. So I am actually quite interested to see how well it does, how different it does, and see how AMD stocks go. So another thing that we do know is that Nintendo wants to put a Pokemon game in. They have mentioned that like, the creators of Pokemon have kind of hinted towards it, saying that they want to do Pokemon on the new Switch. So look forward to that, see if they announce anything, or if they're going to be quiet and announce it later. Um, I guess the other thing to remember about the Switch is that uh, it's coming out in March. That is another thing that has been confirmed is that it's coming out in March. So we'll have to keep watching and see what exact date they release and which games are going to come out on it. Uh, just kind of my final closing thoughts on this is that here, like I live in Canada and I'm expecting it to be between Oh, I don't know, probably about 350 to 450. That's what I'm guessing that the Switch is going to be coming out at. Now in US, I'm guessing it's going to be 3 to 400, which would fit right in line with everything right now, the way that game systems are going. What I want to know, for me, if it's in that $300 range, I think it might be worth it getting it for me. Uh, any more than that, I definitely don't want to get it though. But I want to know from you guys. Do you got what will you guys be willing to pay for the switch uh, leave it in the comment below because I, I really would like to know what you guys think is going to be too much and what's going to be um what do you think is going to be a f really i'm wondering what a fair price is that you guys think do you guys think that they should include the pro controller and would it be worth more or should they just keep Put the pro controller in and keep it at the $300 range. So remember to post that in the comments below. I hope that this answers, well this probably won't answer any questions because it's pretty known all these things. I just want to just do a little bit of a kind of a pre-game for what's coming up uh, from the Switch and want to get your guys' opinion on what you guys think is going to be too much for cost. But anyway, guys, this has been shout out. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do a lot of research on what was all announced. I'm going to watch the live stream. So hopefully in two to three days, I should have up a video explaining everything. And that's two to three days after the press conference. Kind of explain everything that was announced, saying all about it. And uh, hopefully by then we'll get a price and an exact release date. All right, guys, this has been shout out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.